For those that have the luxury of a, of a domain based on Windows Server 2012, um, there are a number of new features uh, built into the operating system and the Active Directory that claims enable Windows. And that is brand new, meaning, as I said earlier, you typically only get the name and the groups of a Windows user when you're doing Windows authentication. But with Server 2012, you can basically configure the domain to use arbitrary values from the AD um, directory um, and turn them into claims. So from your application point of view, you just have um, more claims. And as you can see on, uh, on the new server, you can say who am I slash claims and then you can see the claims that are basically assigned to that user in your Active Directory configuration. And I'll just show you that um, live now, which is much easier to see. I'm here now on a Windows Server 2012 machine. And um, I want to show you these this new features of um, claims over Kerberos. So when you go to this thing called the uh, Active Directory Administrative Center, you can see something called dynamic access control and under that you can define claim types. So what I did here is I uh, told AD that it should add three additional claims to my users. One is called a display name, so that is like the first name, last name of the user. One is the email address and one is the um, location of the office of that user. And as you've, as you've just seen on the slides, when I do who am I, slash claims, you can indeed see that Active Directory issued these three claims to me. So there's mail, there's the office, there's the display name, and you can see that they are using this format ad colon slash slash ext slash and then some um, well-known name that identifies that claim. So what I have here is exactly the same application that you've just seen. Uh, running on my local machine, now just running um, in the domain. And you can see um, that I'm authenticated, this time using the domain backslash account format. And when I go to this uh, claims page um, that we've just seen before, you can see that there are all my, my usual claims, the name, the primary SID, the group SIDs, and so on. And if we scroll all the way down, you can see that you have also this AD colon slash slash ext claims mail, physical delivery, and display name. And you can see these are the values that, that got pulled out of the Active Directory. And that is really nice, yeah? um, because from, from an application point of view, you don't have to learn anything new or have to write any different code to access that information. It is just part of the claims um, collection, and you can use that um, to drive logic in your application. And I think this nicely illustrates um, how serious Microsoft is um, um, when it comes to this um, idea of claims with base identity. So they are basically baking that into the heart of their network operations, uh, operating system and security infrastructure. So I like that a lot.